needs to be allowed because if you are not allowing them to recognize things that they're having a serious issue with, then it could be something that is abusive or that they're seeing as abusive. And if they see it as such, then it it is such. So it's very important that you have these. But that's why I schedule them weekly. And typically, those are really short. Uh, But if you have a contract, it's a good idea to bring that contract down to the floor with you and say, hey, you know, this this is what we've got checked off here. Has anything changed? These were, are all of your greens still green? Are all of these things that are yellow or soft limits still soft limits? Has any of that changed either way? And has any of these hard limits moved to soft limits or to greens? Or are they all the same? Like I said, that's typically like a five-minute or less conversation. But it needs to take place. And without conversation, without communication, there can't be growth. So you have to make sure that you're maintaining your side of it and they're maintaining their side of it. And whatever is said in that check-in, you cannot go back and punish them for because the check-in is a sacred, safe place. And that is, well, that's honestly another common mistake. And that goes into the domineering part. Well, you've said that I was doing this during a check-in, so when we start playtime in the dungeon i'm going to punish you for that no it doesn't work like that and what i mean by that is it does not work like that the relationship won't work you it'll blow up in your face so keep that uh, in mind and i know you're thinking well you've said keep that in mind a lot about pretty much everything yes Because it's hard work. You, as a dominant or a domain, is responsible for another person's well-being. I said it before when I was talking about my male submissive that I mentor. It's like raising an adult child at times because you are that responsible for their well-being. You can really, really mess with their head, mess with their emotions, and screw them up. Or you can be a true leader and help them to become a better person, which in turn recharges you, makes you learn more, and makes you become a better person as well. And that's what it is all about. So with that, I'll say next week's agenda, we want to probably get into the submissives role. I think would be a good place to go and do it up kind of the same way as as we've done here and then uh some of you may be wondering why i've only mentioned dom drop during this particular podcast and that's because that is part of the psychological side of it that i'm going to get into in an episode all to itself so dom drop the struggle is real (laughs) <laughs> sub drop same thing the struggle is real and one of the biggest problems that i see when it comes to the psychological side of being a dom is recognizing that you're in a state of dom drop because a lot of people either won't see it or they try to deny it and it's out of pride and that's something that needs to be put to bed is that foolish pride all right well like i said this is kind of a short one i really appreciate you tuning in you can email me at mastercauldron at gmail.com give me a call leave a voicemail on my google voice number at 865-268-4005 find me on facebook at cauldron fire twitter is at master cauldron Instagram, Cauldron Fire, one word. If you want to make a donation, support the show. I'm trying not to take on uh, uh, a bunch of sponsors to pay for things like mics, computer software, things of that nature. If you want to donate a dollar a month, it's 12 bucks a year, something like that, feel free. 
You can do that at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Just do a search for Cauldron's Crypt. And uh, again, that limits and kink survey is at cauldronscrypt.com slash contact resources. And I'm currently in the process of rebuilding that site from the ground up. So the old site is still there, but it will be changing to a much sleeker platform here within the next couple of weeks. I do appreciate you listening, and thanks for uh, in advance for, for checking out the social media. Any donations that may be made, if you make a donation, I will mention you in the podcast if you make sure that you give me your information. I am Master Cauldron for cauldronscrypt.com.